Matter is another word for the materials from which things are made. Everything in our environment is made of matter. From the air we breathe, to the water we drink, and to our own bodies. The earth as well, all the stars, planets, and moon in the universe are made of matter. All matter is made up of tiny particles known as atoms. The atom is the smallest unit of ordinary matter that makes up a chemical element. Now let's talk about molecules. How can we differentiate molecules from atom? Pag atom, single element lang po siya. Walang halo. Just for example, ay oxygen. Pure oxygen lang siya. Pero pag siya ay naging molecules, ito ay meron ng combination of other element. So, if we define molecules, this is the combination of two or more atoms. So, just for example, in water, okay, meron tayong dalawang atom, which is yung hydrogen and addition of oxygen atom. So, these two, if we nag-combine sila, makakaproduce sila ng H2O, okay, which is the compound, which is, ang result and product nito ay water. Ang solid, liquid, at gas ay example na matter. Pag sinabi nating matter, it is anything that take up space and has mass. If we talk about space, nag-o-occupa ito ng espasyo. Okay? And then, kapag mass, merong sariling bigat. So, we could consider object or substance na matter kapag meron siya ng dalawang karakteristik na to. Take up space and has mass. Now, if we talk about mass... It is defined as a measure of amount of matter the object has or the amount of matter within the object. Ibig sabihin yung bigat ng isang bagay. Just for example, yung bigat ng elephant, bigat ng tubig, bigat natin, human, bigat ng hangin, at bigat ng iba pang bagay katulad ng mga prutas at gulay. So, all of the um, materials presented ay merong mga sariling bigat. Okay? So, meron silang um, measurement, own measurement of their mass. Okay po? Now, let's talk about the second property of matter which is volume. Volume is a measure of space occupied by an object. This is the amount of space that a substance or an object takes up. Ito po yung inuokupang espasyo ng mga particles sa solid, liquid, and gas. Now, let's talk about density. So, we have here five glass, okay, filled with water. So, meron tayong mga different object na ibabaksak sa loob ng baso. So, first is wood, second is rock, pork, nail, and ping pong ball. So, this um, illustration will explain to you what is density and state of matter. So, ibagsak natin yung piece of wood sa water, then yung rock, then yung cork, nail, and the ping pong ball. Okay, so as you can see, some of them is nag-float lang sa water and some of them is nag-submerge or lumubog. So, if we talk about density, it measure of the space occupied by an object or density describe how closely packed the particles are in a solid, liquid, or gas. And remember, density is the amount of mass per unit volume. So, if 
uh, if we talk about solid, liquid, and gas, diba? much denser yung mga solid materials compared to liquid and much denser and liquid kaysa sa gases. Okay? So, it's something to do with on how the arrangement of their molecule is. Now, let's talk about the three state of matter. First, we have is solid. Solid has definite shape and volume. Solid cannot flow or move from one place to another. The movement of their particles is only in terms of vibration. Solid cannot be compressed because the particles are close together and have no space to move. The particle spacing in solid are very tight and the forces of attraction between the particles are very strong. Next is liquid. Liquid has volume but not definite shape. It only flows and takes the shape of the containers. The movement of particles in liquid can be slight or diffuse. The particle spacing in liquid is loose and the forces of attraction between the particles is medium. The third state of matter is gas. Gas has indefinite shape and indefinite volume. The movement of particle in gas can be bouncing or they can freely move to one another. Gas can completely fill the container because the particles can move quickly in all directions. Particle spacing in gas is very far from each other. Forces of attraction between the particles of gas is low. Gas can be compressed because the particles are far apart and have space to move into. Hoping you learned something today about the particle nature of matter, mga ka-major. Thank you for watching.